Oh, thank you, everybody. Good to be. <laughs> That's a good start. Uh, you might be able to tell from my voice, I, I'm not from here. I am uh, Canadian, which is cool. Uh, yep. And, uh, and it was neat. When I first uh, came to the UK, I was uh, supply teaching. And I found it really interesting because I got to learn the differences between the UK school system and the Canadian school system. Uh, for one, we fund ours, <laughs> which is a good thing. Uh, what, what, what I found really interesting is that you guys like to call your teachers like sir and miss. And I, I found it really confusing because I'm like a kinky motherfucker, right? And uh, yeah, so these kids, <laughs> children, <laughs> would be like, oh, sir. And I'd be like, yeah, slut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to sit on that, guys. It's a funny joke. <laughs> And they'd be like, can I borrow rubber? I'd be like, yeah, we're doing this. Mm. <laughs> Pedophilia. <Yeah. laughs> I feel like you're pulling back on me, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Here's uh, one thing I really like about Canada is our political system. Uh, I don't know if you know how our political system works, but in Canada, we have elected Instagram as our prime minister. <laughs> Which is pretty good. Uh, have you, did you guys know Justin Trudeau? Yeah. A murmur? <laughs> okay, uh, if you don't know, um, he is uh, Canada's sweet, sweet prince. He is our prime minister, and he's also just like drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> you guys aren't familiar with this concept. <laughs> It's amazing, you guys. I can't under, like, you guys are like, Brandon, he's not that good looking. No, he is. He makes Ryan Gosling look like old potato. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> and he's on the left. Mm, he's on the left. It's like if Jeremy Corbyn was your hot drama teacher. Mm, <laughs> love it. <laughs> and uh, he's always getting these photos taken of him, right? Like, and it's uh, my favorite one. It's not even a picture of him per se. It's actually a picture. Someone in Canada was having their wedding on a beach. And in the background of the photo, you can see our prime minister. And he's just jogging by without a shirt on. <laughs> like, you don't see that here. Theresa May doesn't pull that shit. <laughs> I think she should. I think if she is so anti-immigration, she should just patrol the coast. <laughs> you can call it Maywatch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also uh, I'm a gay man, which is cool. If you're not gay, try it. It's fun. <laughs> Can't recommend it enough. I actually I have this uh, I have this tattoo, this gay tattoo. It's the uh, the Triforce from the Legend of Zelda, and I put the pride colors on it. And uh, I I really like it because uh, for me. It represents having the uh, power, wisdom, and courage to blow a bunch of weirdos. So <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> nah, I uh, I bring up the gay thing mostly because I want to make fun of religion, and people are like, mm, "Don't make fun of religion," but fuck it, I'm gay. They started it. <laughs> Yeah, yes, exactly. Because yeah, like, you, know, you guys don't have this here, but in North America, there are like fundamentalist Christians that will build camps for gay people to go to where they try and teach them not to be gay. And I'm just like, fuck off. Like, we already have gay camp, and it is fabulous. Eat <laughs> <laughs> your shit. And if you are religious, like, I don't, like, I'm an atheist myself, but I'm not, like, a militant atheist. Like, I just, you know, like, the, the thing that I do like about religious people is that I believe they're trying to do good, and I am not. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, what do I do? The only thing I do as an atheist is basically get into an argument with my mom whenever she tells me a ghost story. That's it. That's the whole thing. And it's like, it's like, bravo, Brandon, bravo, great job, you know what, telling Janny B that, you know, her flickering lights are actually caused by bad wiring, and when it comes down to it, dad is dead and gone forever. Too dark? 
<laughs> my dad, uh, my dad did die. He died about five years ago. Uh, it was uh, he heard one of my jokes and laughed too hard. It. Um, <laughs> now I'm joking. It was a brain tumor, which is less funny. <laughs> too dark. <laughs> No, this is, uh, I'm going to tell you guys the ghost story that my mom and I always disagree about. It actually involves my dad, and it happened to me. It was right after my dad died, and I was driving. I was taking a road trip, and I was, like, super just broken about it. I was just kind of tearing up, and I pulled over, and I took out my phone, and I looked at my phone, and my phone was open. And it was open to my photo gallery, and it was open to the one photo of my dad that I had on there, right? And my mom always says, Brandon, that was your dad reaching out. That was him. And like, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, you guys. I don't know uh, how it all goes. But if it was my dad, I feel sorry for him because the amount of pictures of his son's penis that he would have had to scroll past <laughs> is horrifying. <laughs> I can just imagine, like, Jesus Christ, Brandon! <laughs> I want to do a good thing, but you have just got, like, there's every angle and lighting condition. And sometimes you're covering up the mole, and other times you're just flaunting it like Cindy Crawford. <laughs> He's like, well, I'm... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's the end of that. Guys, uh, fun! Uh... <laughs>